And then if you look further down in, uh, in uh, Section 31, you will find where the phrase used in commerce is specifically defined as carrying passengers or cargo for hire, or something close to that anyway. So um, if you're not engaged in, in some form of, if you're not driving a motor vehicle, then uh, you don't have a license to do what you're doing if you're just traveling, and then you don't need one. Where's the jurisdiction? So the cop out there on the street, he doesn't know he doesn't have jurisdiction, but he doesn't. Not if you're not engaged in commerce. Now every trucker out there who has a driver's license who is carrying passengers or cargo for hire, yeah, he's subject to the rules, okay? And that's constitutionally authorized by the people. So just have a clear understanding whether or not you're, you're using this vehicle in commerce. It's not good enough to be a vehicle. It has to be a motor vehicle to be in the jurisdiction. Okay, so, yes, sir. When you get a driver's license, then you're asking for a license to do that. Are you now that not alleging that you are? No, the license is only for you, you, the license is only for that activity. Okay, there's nothing in in the licensing process that says that now you have to have it for travel. It all it's all commerce. I don't know if you've noticed it, but the uh, motor vehicle department is under the tax collection department. And I got some very, very good advice one time from this fellow. His name was uh, Abraham Lincoln. Okay? I know a lot of people have some opinions about him, but he, he, he was an attorney. Okay? And he brought out a very important point, which is if you don't want to argue a point, don't bring it up. Okay? Don't put in your papers that I reject the birth certificate. Just don't even mention it, even if you have one. <laughs> okay? If they bring it up, well, sure, you attack them on it. But hey, you know, there, there, there's just too much. If you tried to cover everything, you just, your papers will become like encyclopedias, uh, whether you're one of the people or one of the citizens. So if you're one of the people, you own the government. If you're one of the citizens, you are subject to the government. You're subject to the whim of the government. So um, um, you don't have any rights when you're a citizen. Why? Because you're subject. You know, you're 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 you must conform to whatever the rules are that they've laid out for you, citizens. So. A citizen does not have a right to own a gun, okay? I know that's a big issue with a lot of people, but a citizen simply does not have a right to own a gun. He has a privilege to own a gun. It's a legislated thing, okay? And there may be legislation somewhere that says, if we haven't legislated it, it's okay for him to do it, okay? But basically, uh, it has the privileges. Citizens live by privilege granted by the government. And by the way, they don't like to call them privileges. That might wake the citizens up and get them to thinking about being people. But uh, uh, so they they give these privileges a special name. They're called civil rights. Okay, civil rights are actually civil privileges granted by the government. What, if you want real rights, they're called natural rights that you're born with when you are one of the people. Yes, or are. Citizens, if you look at the, the 14th Amendment, it very clearly, very simple words, it says to be a citizen, you have to be born or naturalized and subject. If you're not subject, then you're not a citizen. Why not? But, okay, I just understood you. In other words, there's no law that requires the people to file. But there is a law that requires a citizen to file because it's a privilege. Right. You'll see that the, when the statutes are written, they refer to persons, not to people. The word people is not the plural of person. The plural of person, singular person, is persons with an S. Anybody remember the O.J. Simpson trial? Mm -hmm. you, remember, you remember the Fourth Amendment issue, the exigency that was being considered in, in the uh, municipal court before they transferred it to the superior court? That, that, uh, that judge, she was uh, 
I don't think she was smart enough to write that opinion. I think somebody helped her on it. But when she read the decision, uh, which essentially a lot of people said suspended the Fourth Amendment, when she read that decision, she was absolutely on target. She never used the word people anywhere in that decision. She referred to person or persons all the way through from beginning to end. She had her language right, and, and, uh, and when you understand that citizens live by privilege, not by right, she was right on target with that decision. There were a lot of attorneys criticizing her, and those attorneys were wrong. <laughs> now, if O.J. Simpson's attorneys had the understanding to take the position that he was one of the people, that might have had a different outcome. I've got a question. Yes, sir. In terms of the 14th Amendment, so would it be correct to say that as a, a person who was domiciled in California, uh, born and raised in California, that I am one of the people of California and, non and a non-resident foreign to the United States government? Is that yeah, you, don't, you do not have to accept uh, US citizenship. You know, you can, you can just be a resident. Remember, the true country is California. And, and uh, the United States of America is merely a, a corporate trust. I mean, it, you, if you look at the preamble, it has every element that you would expect to find in a trust. It has the trustor, the trustee, the beneficiary. It has the, uh, the purpose. <laughs> Everything's in that, in that little short paragraph, all the elements. And so the, and you can tell that the United States of America is actually a corporation. Mm -hmm. The way you can tell is very simple. It has a president. All corporations have presidents. Countries have governors. Because, because they have a governor because He's, he's acting in behalf of his, their, peop their boss, which is the people. Okay. Great, thank you. You're welcome. So anyway, um, what we're going to talk about here is the Bill of Rights. Now, if you're one of the people, you've got all rights. Okay. I mean, when you, when you delegated authority to the United States of America or to the states, you delegated that authority, that did, you gave up nothing. You're still sovereign, okay? So and we'll get into sovereignty in a little bit, what sovereignty is all about. But I want you to know that if you're one of the people, you have all <coughs> rights. Whereas if you are a citizen, you only have certain rights. I'm an American, <laughs> and I'm talking about citizens and people, and this is part of the entertainment. You don't want a boring session on law, do you? <laughs> Come on, we got to have a little sense of humor here. Well, you know, sometimes I worry as a little girl, I don't understand. I yeah. have to ask. No, it, it's attitude. You know, you got it, this. This whole legal process should be fun. Okay, you got you, 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 if you if you're if you're steeped in in anger. And, and all serious, uh, I'm sorry, but you're shortchanging yourself. Yeah, you gotta talk right into it. Okay, the 14th Amendment has not been ratified, so how can we have the uh, 14th Amendment? Okay, the, the 14th Amendment has not been ratified. I don't think I have the microphone on here. I think we need the microphone. How's that? And also the 16th. Okay, the issue that has been brought up is that the 14th Amendment has never been ratified. Let me tell you something, that's not important, okay? Uh, we're, we're dealing with, let's put it this way. When you go to China, if you were in a Chinese court, do you think you would argue your case in English? Or would you argue your case in Chinese? Chinese. Yeah, you want these people to understand you. Now look, I go into a courtroom and I know the attorneys, the clerks, the public that's out there watching what's going on, they all believe that the 14th Amendment is valid. And maybe even the, 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 uh, the judge, he may believe that it's valid, okay? He may be poorly educated as a judge. Uh, so I play the game. And I'm going to play the rules 
as much as possible according to their understanding.